What it do, what it do. Welcome to another one over here at Game Shopping TV. Tap in, like, comment, and subscribe because we are uh, chopping this game over here, man. Had to tap in on this one real quick, man. Um, for those that didn't know, for those that may already know, you know, supposedly that boy Steve Harvey, you know, was like in an interview type of setting. Well, not on a show, or on his show type of setting. On a show type set, and basically, I think he was on there with uh, what Stephen A. Smith. Okay, we already know how bullshit. Well, excuse me, how bull crap that can be. You know, with Stephen A. Smith. You know, he's always against. You know, anything Black Americans pushing for, he's against it. So, most for the most part, wouldn't he be with somebody like that? But um, either way. You know, Cat Williams was on the interview on the Shay Shay Club, and he, you know, he had his little bit to say about Steve Harvey. Is how he said that man, Steve Harvey was not homeless. He's using his story. <laughs> said Steve Harvey was already making money, three grand a show type stuff. I mean, go back and look at the interview on Club Shay Shay with uh, Cat Williams. He, you know, when he spoke on Steve Harvey. Um, you know, then you got the things where Mark Harvey said that hey. Steve Harvey stole some of his jokes, you know, and all that. And who knows what's true and what's not, you know. But Steve Harvey fired back though on this show, and um, he was just like, you know, basically he can't move like he used to, but he'll still knock Cat Williams out. He didn't say his name, you know, but he was speaking on. The person being short and all this and that, and yeah, like he said, he said that hey, he he he'll knock him out. You know, he still got it in him to reach around and boom, drop him. You know, he said he didn't want to respond. No, he wanted to respond because he's human, and plus he's from the hood. So you know, that's what that's what, those were his words. You know, but that's crazy how he goes straight into violence on with Cat Williams for maybe exposing what could be true. Because the crazy thing about this is, I, I just got, and this is where I come in, this is really why I had to say something. Because Steve Harvey has been acting real funny lately, you know what I'm saying? How he was on the thing, we're talking about some all, talking about asking Kamala Harris or somebody about reparations, and that was his thing too, talking about that nobody ain't, you know, putting no pressure on Donald Trump for nothing, let him go. And you know, and you know, well, but the thing is, the, the but that's the difference with Trump, though. That's the thing. He acknowledges black people, and so where I'm going with that is, it's a shame to say that you might we might have a better tr chance of getting something done with Trump in over Kamala, because let's be honest, Kamala already said she's not doing nothing for black people. She been said it, and she didn't. She made us suspects of Asian hate crime. That's what she did. You know, and this is what you and I just did one about Luke sitting up here talking about the same crap. And now you got this dude. Like I say, but he's been tripping for a minute though, man. He always on some extra coon stuff. Like you guys, like the re. The, this is the reason you can't trust black celebrity right here because they don't want to mess up none of their money. Messing up. Well, how are they going to mess up their money? By telling the truth. By saying, hey, you know, yeah, black Americans really do need reparations. Or anything. Just speaking, good, you know. He has to be loud, talk ignorant, you know, be ignorant, talk about us in a bad way for them to, you know, want them to even speak. You know what I'm saying? We, as black folks, we got to do this and do all, you know, and all that. You know. But like I say, he, I don't know, man. He been kind of trying to stay on the good boy side, you know what I'm saying, with white people for that check, basically. He's doing it. He's doing it, and that's fine. Let him, let him keep doing it. Another one, Ricky Smiley, how he got to tripping and stuff. Talking about, I don't know if these people just, maybe they're not aware of what black Americans are really on right now. And we definitely ain't on voting for somebody or getting somebody back in there who's just going to open a border. That doesn't help us. Their thing is, come on, come on, continue to vote, vote Democrat, and you do the vote, and don't expect nothing, 
Don't ex do like you haven't been. Just don't expect nothing. Just vote. Just to vote. That's it. That's it. And then once the person we voting for will come out, once she get in, she don't need Negroes no more. What she do? She go straight to opening borders. And this, and you know, and so we're not supposed to worry about what she does because she's not going to look our way and do nothing for us anyway. <laughs> You know, but come sing a sad song at a black massacre out of racism. And that's, man, we're not, it's, it's not, it's not what time it is. And I don't know if it's just that y'all don't know what time it is or what. Because Ricky Smiley, yeah, he come up on it. Like, are y'all actually black American or... You know, and, and and if you guys are, I question it, you know, but if you guys are, you're the pure prime example of coons. Because w why would we vote for somebody when we already seen what they did? That, that makes no sense. Because but I guess before we didn't care if they did nothing or not because we never expected nothing anyway. We that was, I know that was my thing. I grew up thinking like, Oh, I don't care who's president because I'm not going to do nothing anyway. But look at what I just said. They're not going to do nothing anyway. You see what I'm saying? Then it shouldn't be that way. The president, whoever you vote in, should have some kind of policy, something that benefits you specifically. We've never had that as black Americans. Not even a hate crime bill. The Asians got that. As soon as Kamala got in, and we were suspects. So, I mean, Steve Harvey, fooey. Ricky Smiley, fooey. I think it was another one, D.L. Hughley. I'm not sure, but, do you... I mean, I don't know what to say, man. How you guys bullcrapped us on all this time and, you know... Well, nothing's getting done. Valuing black places and high places for nothing. It's, those days are over with. Forget your celebrity. We definitely, if anything, don't trust a black celebrity because they're not going to tell the truth. And so you guys are pretty much, we're on to it. And we don't value that a black place and a high place for nothing anymore. We It's... And maybe you guys don't recognize, realize that, but it don't work no more. How it was in the 90s, and just or in the early 2000s, where we're just not worried and concerned about all that, and it's over with. And your celebrity isn't influential at all, because we see what you're... It's almost like what MLK said, you're, you're trying to lead us into a burning building, basically. We And we see it. You know, we can't believe our eyes that we see you guys doing this in real time. And these are, like say, people who we looked up to, vouched for, and all that. You know? But we see what it is. You know, um, another one, Steve Harvey, I wouldn't... I mean... Unless he cut the crap. Other than that, right now, he's full of it. He's nothing but somebody to, you know, he's just somebody who makes you laugh, and that's as far as it goes. Because where, where are we getting off? That's the thing about it. When it comes to politics or white people or any other group of people, you don't, they don't put the comedians in front of them talking about their politics. You know, they don't put wrestlers in white people's face talking about their politics. They don't go get the football player. They don't go get Jim Carrey to talk to white people about their own politics. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is not stuff that they do. But for black people, we got the we got the circus clowns speaking on our politics as if we're supposed to follow their lead. No, we know you what you clowns are. You're just clowns, and you're only good for laughs. You're only good for laughs, Steve Harvey. That's all you're good for, laughs. Other than that. We can't take you serious. That's how that goes. So you're a comedian, and you, that's what you, you know. When some a comedian makes you mad, 
what they say. Oh, I'm a comedian. Don't take them serious. That's how you got to look at this. Clowns. Don't take them serious. Especially when it comes to politics. I had to speak my piece, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he's answer he responded to Cat Williams just like a defeated person responds. With no um, logic, facts, nothing to back up. Oh, 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 not yet. What? Anyway, man, reparations now. Cut the check, Steve Harvey. You know, and if Kamala ain't talking about that, dude, she is not for us. And I don't know what the hell you doing or Ricky Smiley or whoever else you clown comedians are doing. Stop it. Stay out of our politics, man. Because you... You're dangerous. You're dangerous. And this is, this, is, this is unbelievable to see what you guys are doing and what you're willing to do, how you're willing to sell out your people or lead your people into a burning building. You, you, you're pathetic, dog. You know, you guys are pathetic on, as far as that go. Respect, though. You know, <clears throat> no disrespect like that, but, you know, respect. But either way it go. I respect your careers. You know, I know you know. I know you guys got money and all that, but we ain't resting on that because every Black Americans need them reparations, man. You know, and, and all that. Everybody ain't a comedian. Everybody ain't a clown. Everybody, all of us can't get paid to be a clown like you do, like y'all. Nothing wrong with, like I say, I respect it, but stay out the politics, man. Please, because you guys are poison. Like I say, you see it. Another one over here, Game Chopping TV. Tap in, like, comment, and subscribe because we chopping this game, man.